the 10 legendary lawmen that outlaws watched out for. Can you believe that some of these legendary lawmen got a dark secret? Without further ado, let's discover the dark secrets, mind-blowing facts, and the historical story of the legendary lawmen of the Wild West. Let's start with the man who put the deadly bullet on the chest of the dangerous outlaw, Billy the Kid. Pat Garrett was considered the great sheriff of Lincoln County. But before this honorary title, Garrett had a dark past. When he was 26 years old, he committed his first kill. Despite the freedom to flee, Garrett surrendered himself to the authorities. In the turn of events, the authorities didn't persecute him. Next, Bass Reeves was the first black deputy marshal. Reeves was a renowned lawman. He had a unique way of catching his targets. He sometimes manipulated stories or dressed as a different person to corner his target. With his extreme dedication to morality, wide experience of the environment, and skills as a gunslinger, he was known to have killed 14 outlaws and arrested 3,000 criminals, with him being completely unscathed. The name Wyatt Earp was what the outlaws feared to hear. He is reputed as the best-known lawman of Dodge City and Tombstone for surviving deadly encounters with outlaws. Wyatt, alongside his brothers, took part in the infamous 30-second shootout event known as the OK Corral gunfight. Wyatt was uninjured during the fight, but was arrested for murder. He was known to be the last surviving participant of the gunfight. Bat Masterson was the lawman of the Wild West who became one of the most influential people of his time. His life was filled with action as he was involved with different gunfights alongside legendary people such as his friend, Wyatt Earp. Both of them fearlessly fought outlaws. After being a lawman, Bat became a professional gambler and sports journalist. The inspiration for the iconic Lone Ranger was heavily debated. However, John Hughes, a legendary member of the Texas Rangers, believed that he was the one. Nobody wanted to mess with him, even the notorious outlaws. His reputation as a dangerous lawman was established when he hunted and killed all the 18 killers of his captain, Captain Frank Jones. Another Texas Ranger was known for the dramatic pursuit of outlaw John Hardin. John Barclay Armstrong was a Texas Ranger lieutenant wherein he is the right hand of Captain Leander H. McNelly. He was the key person on how the Texas Rangers captured the elusive John Hardin and the death of the notorious robber, Sam Bass. If the lawman, as mentioned above, use violence without a second thought, William Matthew Tillman uses it as a last resort. With that, he was highly respected by well-known gunslingers and lawmen such as the Earp brothers. But once he used violence, his gunslinging skills were known to be deadly. Henry Andrew Thomas was William Tillman and Chris Madsen's colleague. The three of them were called the Three Guardsmen. The deadly trio were responsible for the captivity and death of more than 300 outlaws. The youngest and notable sheriff of Texas is none other than William Allison. He was once a member of the Texas Rangers who was well known to be confident, rational, and a dangerous gunslinger. Later on, he became an Arizona Ranger but quickly lost the job due to his gambling addiction. Lastly, Henry Wheeler was a distinguished Arizona Ranger who has led the last gunfight in the history of Old West, the Gleason Gunfight. If you want to know more about the incredible stories of the Wild West, click the following links for more amazing videos.